Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today's video is gonna be a little bit of a tutorial on how to use Surfshark, which is one of the most popular VPNs out there. I'll be walking you through the main uses of Surfshark, highlighting its most important features, and showing you step-by-step -step how to use them effectively. And so whether you just got a Surfshark subscription and wanna learn how to use it, or you wanna see what it has to offer before you make your decision, this video will give you everything you need to know. And of course, if you'd like to check out Surfshark for yourself, you'll find all the useful links, including an in-depth review, as well as a special discount in the description down below. Okay, so let's kick this off by talking about some of the main uses of Surfshark, which I'd say there are three of them. By far the most popular one of the three is gonna be using Surfshark to access streaming services and foreign websites. Let's say you're living in the US, but you wanna watch a show that's exclusive to the UK Netflix library. While using Surfshark, you can connect to a VPN server in the UK and give yourself a UK IP address, and then go to Netflix and give it a quick refresh. Now, as far as Netflix is concerned, you're accessing the website as if you're physically in the UK. And so they're gonna switch their library to match your region, therefore giving you access to the show you're trying to watch. And one thing to note here is that streaming services, especially Netflix, have been hard at work lately trying to limit access to VPNs. So as a result, lots of VPNs have become practically useless when it comes to streaming. This doesn't apply to Surfshark, however, as it's one of the very few VPNs that can easily access these streaming services thanks to their obfuscation technology, which allows them to completely hide the fact that your internet traffic is going through a VPN server. Okay, so the next main use of Surfshark is to protect you while torrenting, whether it's from your ISP or online hackers, as far as your ISP goes, they can monitor your activity online and can effectively throttle your internet connection to the ground. However, if you use Surfshark to connect to a VPN server, all of your traffic would then be encrypted and neither your ISP nor your government would be able to figure out what you're doing online. Now, as far as torrenting goes, when you download a file, everyone who's downloading the same file can basically see your IP address front and center. And this would put you at a lot of risk of getting cyber attacked, like getting DDoS, for example. With a VPN, however, once you connect to a server, your IP address would change to that of the server you're connected to, which would protect you from cyber attacks by people who are downloading the same torrent file. As for the last main use of Surfshark, this one is gonna be very important if you're someone who's always on the go and you have to connect to public Wi-Fi networks. You see, if you connect to public Wi-Fi, anyone on the same network as you, even the network administration, can possibly get a hold of your internet traffic and steal some valuable information like your bank credentials, usernames, passwords, etc. However, the easiest solution to this would be using Surfshark to connect to a VPN server, which would then encrypt your traffic and protect your important data from anyone snooping around. And so these are gonna be the three main uses of Surfshark. Now that you know how to connect to servers and do different tasks with Surfshark, let's take a look at some of the main features it has to offer. Starting with the kill switch, I'd say that this is the most important feature a VPN could and should offer. What this kill switch does is that it automatically severs your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. And so having this kill switch would prevent any and all of your data from leaking to your ISP or government. And it's especially important to have in censorship heavy countries like China, for example. Okay, so the second thing you should keep in mind is the protocol you're using. You see, in the protocol section right here, you're gonna find a bunch of different protocols, but the best performing one out of these is going to be the WireGuard protocol. Using WireGuard, your data will encrypt much faster, and this would improve your overall speed. With that being said, if you run into any issues with the server not working, I suggest you change this back to automatic, since there are a few servers that might not be compatible with WireGuard. Nonetheless, if you want the fastest speed with Surfshark, WireGuard is gonna be the best choice here. All right, so the kill switch and the protocol section are the two main features of Surfshark but this VPN also comes packed with some bonus quality of life features that can be useful in certain situations. As an example of this would be the split tunneling feature, also known as Bypasser, which allows you to select which apps go through the VPN tunnel and which ones use your normal connection. So let's say you want a Netflix show that's exclusive to another country, but you don't want your banking application to cause you any issues due to the IP changes. Well, you can either set Netflix as the only application using the VPN or exclude your banking application from the VPN tunnel using Bypasser. Another bonus feature you can use is the no borders mode, which is really helpful in case you live in a censorship heavy country. And what this feature does is that the second it senses a firewall or anything else trying to limit your network connection, it automatically turns on and connects you to the nearest secure server to avoid network restrictions. This combined with the rotating IP, which changes your IP address every five to 10 minutes, can help you avoid heavy censorship, as well as protect your identity in countries with heavy surveillance like China or Turkey. Besides these two, you also get a bunch of different specialty servers that are optimized for specific situations such as multi-hop servers which route your traffic through two VPN servers to double the encryption, static IP servers which would give you the same IP address every time you connect to them, and you also have a dedicated IP server which can be purchased separately. Other than that, you also get a speed tester that would
that would show you which servers would give you the best speeds, and you also have an ad blocker, which is not exactly that impressive, but it blocks some ads and pop-ups, so it's nice to have regardless. Okay, aside from these features, Surfshark would also give you access to over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, and having such a huge list of countries and servers would essentially give you access to most content from all over the world. Now, I would say the best thing about Surfshark is the fact that you'll be able to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. So you'll be able to share them with as many friends and family members as you would like, which is wonderful news if you're looking to secure a lot of devices. And when it comes to cost, Surfshark is one of the most affordable VPNs out there that offers a lot of value for your subscription. And the best thing about it is that it doesn't sacrifice any of its security or essential features to lower its price. With that said, the only nitpick I have about Surfshark is the fact that it's a bit slower than the likes of ExpressVPN and NordVPN. However, it's not exactly that far behind, as it's still faster than most VPNs out there. And given its cost and how much value you'll be getting with a single subscription, an extra 3-5% to drop in speed is not exactly that big of a deal. Besides that, if you go for the cybersecurity bundle, Surfshark 1, you'll be getting a bunch of identity protection features as well as a fully-fledged antivirus on top of the VPN. And all this costs as much as other VPNs that don't offer half of the things this plan offers. So in short, Surfshark is a great budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the security or its features. Besides that, you can protect a virtually unlimited number of devices with just one subscription, which is great if you want to share it around with your friends and family. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to grab yourself the best discount possible. And if you want to know more about Surfshark with regards to privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting abilities, as well as security and features, you'll also find an in-depth review in the description as well. Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos, and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.